Previously, in the mixer tutorial, I established that FL allows you to route any channel to any mixer track. You can even add multiple channels to the same track. But what if you wanted several different mixer tracks to make use of a single effects plugin, like a reverb? Here's where FL's flexible mixer routing really shines. A common situation might be several instruments that all need the same reverb. You could add your reverb plugin to each mixer track. However, this is not efficient in terms of organization or CPU usage. What if you want to change the settings on the reverb? You would have to do that for every single instance of the plugin. There is a better way. Take these orchestral strings I have set up. Each section is getting its own mixer track, 1 through 4, but I want all of them to have the same reverb. I'll load FL's Reverb 2 plugin on the mixer track labeled Send 1, and then turn Dry all the way down and Wet all the way up. Now, if I select my violins track and increase the knob under Send 1, what's happening is that the violins are processing through Send 1 by a small amount. If I want more reverb, I can just increase the knob further, and repeat this for the other string tracks. Sends are great when you have an effect that's additive, something that can be layered onto a sound, such as reverb or delay. However, maybe I've decided that all of these strings need the same EQ as well, and I'd like to control their volume as a group. When I select my violins track, there's an arrow underneath the master track. This indicates that the violins are going out to the master and then out to my headphones or my speakers. If I turn this knob all the way down, or disable the send arrow by clicking on it, I can no longer hear the violins track going to the master. Just what little reverb is coming from send channel 1. I'll click the arrow beneath Mixer Track 5 to route the violins to that channel instead of the master. To keep things organized, I'm naming it String Section. After repeating this for three other string tracks, I now have all four strings going through a single mixer track while still retaining their own individual effects. So, if I want to add EQ to just the cellos, I can do that. Or I can put an EQ on the string section track and affect all of them at the same time. I strongly recommend using and practicing this technique to organize groups of instruments. Orchestral sections are a great example, but so are vocals, drums, guitars, and so forth. 